polynomials dear students today we are going to start with the next chapter of class 10th mathematics that is polynomials in the last part we have seen about the last concept of real numbers that is the word problem about hcf and lcm today we are going to start with this next topic called polynomials now this polynomials was there in 9th standard and earlier to that also if you remember about one term two terms three terms that expressions we used to consider that is monomial binomial trinomial and so on do you remember what we used to call when there are more than three terms yes correct we used to call them as polynomials and not just for more than three terms but overall the family used to be considered as the family of polynomials whether it is a monomial or binomial all used to comprise in this only family called polynomials in this part we are going to discuss about the types of polynomials depending on their degree now degree also you know very well but let's revise the concept as we are starting with it okay so see i will try to cover almost all the concepts related to but still if you feel that something is there which you are not clear with which the things you should you, you want to get it revised you want to get it understood in a better manner so yes you have the option of commenting okay uh, your comments your uh, feedback are really welcomed and we uh, appreciate if you could comment on whatever the understanding level is there whatever explanation is there so you can comment okay so let's start with the journey about polynomials okay so the first when uh, we'll discuss about the degrees what is a degree degree of a polynomial now before we start with the we can say suppose an expression is there which is in x okay so what we consider as a polynomial with degree 1 okay when degree of polynomial is 1 the polynomial which we consider is called as linear linear polynomial linear polynomial now what this means degree 1 and linear polynomial for example a x plus b now what is degree here dear students the variable here is x only okay the only variable is x and what is the power of x here it is 1 nothing is there means 1 when degree the highest power of the variable is 1 we say degree is 1 and when degree is 1 we call that polynomial as linear polynomial now one thing is very important you will not find an equal sign here equal sign here because polynomial is an expression polynomial is an expression so when degree is 1 we call it linear polynomial and this is the example when degree is 2 when degree is 2 we call it as quadratic quadratic polynomial so we need an example so yes quadratic polynomial example is ax square plus bx plus c okay now what is the variable x is the variable here power of x is 2 here power of x is 1 the highest power is 2 so degree is 2 okay So because the highest power is 2 so that's why we call the degree of the polynomial is 2 and such polynomial is called as quadratic polynomial okay then can you guess about 3 if degree is 3 what we can call it as and how will represent yes very true it is called as cubic polynomial cubic polynomial now when we are writing cubic polynomial the example is or the general representation is ax cube the highest power will be 3 plus bx square plus cx plus d now this is just the general representation this doesn't mean that always uh, this term this term should be there this is not necessary 
but what is necessary that the first term or the highest power should be 3 for cubic, 2 for quadratic and 1 for linear. Okay. Uh, see further there are by quadratic and so on but uh, do you have any confusion if there is uh, no power means x is having no power x is having no power means x is having zero power so what we call in that situation yes we will consider that also here degree is 1 here degree is 2 here degree is 3 if suppose degree is 0 degree is 0 we call such polynomial as constant constant polynomial constant polynomial and in that case we write it as just a because x is not there what you will say x is not there i will say x is there but it is having power 0 and you know anything having power 0 becomes 1 okay so that's why it can be written as only a so such a polynomial is called as constant polynomial Okay, yes. So now we will take some examples. Now, if I write 72, can you tell whether 72 is a linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial, or constant polynomial? 72, you will say, sir, 72 is a number. So, how it is a polynomial? No, it is a polynomial, it is a constant, constant polynomial okay 72 is a constant polynomial yes now if i write 5 x so 5 x is falling in which criteria okay now check is it linear power x power is x power is 1 yes so it will come in linear polynomial so you will say that where is b here it is not necessary whether b is there okay only one term is there then also it can be a linear polynomial yes now if i write here 5x cube plus 3 5x cube plus 3 now you will say that the power is 3 highest power is 3 means degree is 3 so it has to be a cubic polynomial but where are bx square and cx so i will say that it is not necessary whether the other terms are there or not okay even if it is a monomial or binomial it can be a cubic so it is a cubic polynomial what is the reason for it being a cubic polynomial what is the reason the reason is the highest power is 3 the degree is 3 and degree has nothing to do with the number of terms degree is dependent on the highest power is it very clear so it is a cubic polynomial then if i give you an example 2x square plus 3x minus 8 so which category it falls yes you can see here the highest power is 2 so we will call it as a quadratic quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial okay then 6x cube plus 7x square minus x minus 6 what is the highest power highest power is 3 so it is a cubic polynomial is it very clear so i hope these things are these things are very very clear to all of you yes so at least this doubt that whether a polynomial is a it can be a constant it can be a linear it can be a quadratic it can be a cubic one more this that we have not discussed that is with degree 4 when degree is 4 we call it as biquadratic polynomial okay biquadratic polynomial now uh, one very important concept uh, there is there in this chapter that is the zero of a polynomial for example if i am having a polynomial called uh, 5x cube plus 3 it is a polynomial so what is the zero of this polynomial the value the value for x the value for x which gives out the full full the polynomial equals to zero that value of x will be called as the zero of the polynomial okay 
means in place of x we will put some number on substitution substituting that number we get this whole as 0 then we will be calling that value for x as 0 of the polynomial. I will take one example very quickly. Suppose, suppose we have a polynomial x square minus 2 root 2 x okay x square minus 2 root 2 x. Now, can you tell me the degree is what is the degree of this polynomial? Degree is 2 means quadratic it is a quadratic polynomial yes degree is 2 so it is a quadratic polynomial. Now, for what value of x for what value of x it will become 0. So, check if I write here if I write here x equals to 0. So, this first will become 0 square first term and 2 root 2 into 0 what we will get here 0 square is 0 and minus 2 root 2 into 0 again 0 that is 0. So, x equal to 0 is called as 0 of the given polynomial, but here the one problem is there. If the degree of the polynomial is 2, then we should have two zeros. If the degree of polynomial is 1, then it will have at least one zero. And if the degree of polynomial is 3, then we should get at least three zeros. That is the thing. Okay. So, uh, hope these concepts, see this is 0, we will consider, we will take some more examples in the next part. Okay. So, for today, we have just started the introduction. So, hope the things are clear to you all. And in case if something, some doubt is there, some problem is there, so you know what to do. Okay. So, with this, we will stop here. One very important thing that, uh, see, mathematics is a subject which requires practice, very sure. But we must know the proper way to study, to prepare. If that thing is clear, then definitely we can do wonders in mathematics. And there are only two, it is not rubbish, there are only two subjects which uh, we can say that are 100% scorable that are mathematics and Sanskrit. So, there is possibility that we can score 100% in mathematics and multiple examples are there. And one very important thing would I would like to tell you that for mathematics, it is not important whether you are intelligent or you are dumb. In mathematics, only one thing is important that is whether you are a hard worker or not, whether you want to do want to bring improvement in you or not. So, if you are ready for bringing that improvement, definitely you, you will cross all the hurdles. Okay. So, with this positive note, note I will stop here. Enjoy learning. Take care.